and the colour ain't going to be great because it's obviously PS2 and it wasn't HD. I can convert it to HD but I've not got the leads. Eternity is relentless, Raziel. When I first stole into this chamber centuries ago, I did not fathom the true power of knowledge. To know the future, Raziel. To see its paths and streams tracing out into the infinite. As a man, I could never contain such forbidden truths. But each of us is so much more than we once were. Do you not feel with all your soul how we have become like gods? As such, are we not indivisible? As long as a single one of us stands, we are legion. Our futures are predestined. Mobius foretold mine eons ago. We each play out the parts fate has written for us. Free will is an illusion. I found the tomb of Saravan Cape. How could you profane a priest by turning him into a vampire? How could I not? One must keep his friends close, Raziel, and his enemies even closer. Who better to serve me? And those whose passion. Oh! We should love this game. It's not looking too hot at the moment. But anyway, I told you I'd do a review on it, and here it is. Where am I? Is the usual question. In your case, when might be more apt? Very well. If you'd prefer I use my bare hands. But this is completely unexpected. This orb disables our vampire enemies, leaving them helpless and incapacitated. Strangely, it seems to have the same effect on that peculiar weapon of yours. But you must believe me. I mean you know how. You can drop the benevolent facade, Mobius. I know who and what you are. I should kill you where you stand. <laughs> Perhaps you should, my boy. But you don't. Are you so certain of that, Morbius? My role as Time Guardian affords me a certain level of omniscience, Raziel. No, you don't kill me. That honor belongs to your maker. Cain, some 30 years from now. You two are a pair. You're just as fatalistic as he is. Death comes for us all, Razia. It's just a matter of time. How is it that you know my name? We have never met. On the contrary, Razia. I know you very well. And it grieves me to see how cruelly it's just a spine and claws. I knew you, no you were one of the Seraphan Brotherhood, Razia. We were even close. Oh, please. Fortunately, you need not love me now to be my ally. 
Are we within the stronghold of the Seraphim priesthood? Yes. But the glorious days of the Seraphim have long since passed, I'm afraid. This is a more cynical and indecorous age. My mercenary army now inhabits this stronghold. We strive to so honor you, the It makes you wonder what sort of audience this was actually aimed at. Crusade. Is this the Vampire of Oregon? Yes. The scourge of the circle. The most depraved and decadent example of his whole degenerate race. He slaughtered six of my fellow guardians as they cowered defenseless in this room. And you somehow survived this massacre? I and two others. The circle was devastated. Only we three were spared. How convenient. You'll forgive me if I don't naively devour every scrap of information you toss me. You have a reputation for deceit. And who has slandered me, sir? Your malefactor, Cain? The one who betrayed and destroyed you? Our common enemy? Consider the source before you judge me too harshly. We'll forget about rekindling our own friendship then. But consider an alliance based on our common ground. We both want Cain dead. I can help you do it. You don't want to meddle in this, old man. I know all about your sordid little schemes, but you're simply out of your depth. You underestimate me, Raziel. Let me show you. Even now, Kay is lying in wait for you, unaware that I've snatched you out of the time stream and brought you here to me. See how he lingers at the very pillars he is destined to destroy. Foolishly confident that he has eluded your grasp. The pillars are still standing in this time. Yes, Raziel. They are the embodiment of the divine force which preserves the life of our world. We who serve the pillars maintain their delicate balance, and Cain is destined to be the fulcrum upon which that balance turns. I believe you have already endured the wasteland wrought by his terrible, selfish decision. Cain's very existence is a cancer upon this world. As long as he lives, all of Noscot is in peril. You may never again be human, Raziel. But you can re-embrace the essence of your humanity and the nobility of your Salafan heritage. Go to him, Raziel, and end this. But first, you will need to find your way out of the stronghold. And in this, I'm afraid I cannot help you. That's My one. soldiers will not understand your opinion. I get this. I get they this. I will try to kill you. You needn't fear them, of course. They're no match for you. Try to keep the casualties to a minimum. But do what you have to do. All great movements. Okay. Alone now, I surveyed my surroundings and noticed a second time streaming chamber. Its entrance identical to the first, but with one I'm sorry distinction. Sorry, it's a bit long and boring. This is going to be a long video. But how? I have not yet discovered. You stop talking. That's how you suck souls. Right. I'm gonna go in here. Door 
to the left. Oh, the capitation coming up. This game gets quite cool, very cool. So you got that spiral of life. When that ends, obviously you die, but you can't be killed. You do just fight your way through like the netherworld to until you uh, regain your your health. And health. Stronghold, I discovered evidence of my former nobility and my life as a Seraphan priest. This was the heritage so foully stolen from me when Cain raided my sacred crypt and defiled me. someone do that and then suck your soul you wouldn't be back for more Look. in this twisted version of the world and you've got to suck souls regain your health and go back in this bit so you can actually pass through the walls and doors of Mobius's cursed staff I could feel the strength of the soul reaver slowly returning 
If that orb was as debilitating to vampires as it was to the blade, it gave Mobius a powerful advantage over his enemies. Yes. I finally understood how Mobius' crusade could decimate the vampires so successfully. If he could immobilize his enemies, they were at his mercy. But why, I wondered, would the staff have any effect on the Reaver? <laughs> furthest chapel. As I cautiously approached, the sense of dislocation intensified with each step. So this was the tomb of the beloved King William the Just, beatified here as the martyr and catalyst of Mobius' crusade. I was reminded of Cain's journey as a fledgling vampire, how Mobius coerced him to travel back in history and assassinate William thus igniting a genocidal hatred of vampires among the citizens of Norskov. And here I discovered the source of the displacement. The soul reaver itself, laid out like a holy relic, and broken, apparently in the battle between William and Cain. I had not thought such a thing was possible, until, of course, Cain shattered the blade against me when he tried to strike me down. Thus, the captive spirit inhabiting the Reaver was released, and binding itself to me, became my symbiotic weapon. And so the Reaver met its former self, still imprisoned in this corporeal shell. I watched, mesmerized, as the Wraith Blade uncoiled itself and snaked down the length of a physical blade, embracing its twin, its mirror self, the Weaver's long dormant spirit was now fully aroused, and for the first time, I felt the true presence of this other entity, willful, ravenous, and deranged from thousands of years of imprisonment. The Weaver was now in command, and I, now merely its helpless host, felt my soul being leeched to restore the blade. The Reaver knew better than to destroy its host, and just as I neared the brink of oblivion, the blade released its hold on me. As I recovered, I realized we were now bound together in a fragile alliance. The Reaver no longer merely my symbiotic weapon, but a sentient parasite competing for control. What have you done to me, Mobius? Is this your trap? How mine? Don't forget it was Cain who led you here, not I. While you curse me, the only soul in Nosgoth ready to guide and assist you, Cain laughs at our folly and revels in your dismay. These blades, now coiled in sinister embrace, have inspired terror in the hearts of creatures far more durable than you, old man. Bound together as they are, I can only imagine what they could do to your soul's fragile shell. Brazil, I beg you to stay your hand. This was none of my doing. I have sought only to aid you in your righteous quest. Why, you are trembling, Mobius. Has your confidence abandoned you? You seem to have made a fatal error by leaving your precious staff behind. 
Is that where all your courage comes from? Bye. Listen to me, Oscar. That kind of hurt my butt. You don't know what you're doing. I have taken an enormous risk by appearing here before you, so defenseless, yet eager to prove my good intentions. If there's anything left of the Seraphim in you, you won't do this. While you threaten me, your true enemy eludes you. Don't concern yourself with Cain, old man. He'll join you in hell soon enough. As you said, death comes for us all. Yes. The wheel of fate demands it. What did you say? The wheel of fate. The inexorable cycle of death and rebirth to which all men are compelled. We serve the same God, Raziel. To strike me down would be striking God's own attendant. And I don't believe even you would take that risk. I'm tired of your games, Mobius. Now that I know you fear me, I needn't concern myself with you. Kate's waiting for me. Go then, Raziel. Seek Cain out and destroy him. In the name of the one God we both serve. You, who were once a seraphim priest, murdered, profaned, destroyed, and reborn again from his mercy. You are now most powerfully equipped to be his agent. His instrument of restoration and retribution. Who are you talking to, Mike? My own oh, vengeance is motivation enough. My soul, you almost had me, my little blue assassin. But that'll be the one and only chance you get. I assure you of that. So you now I know he's a I deceiving could now bitch. Blade at will, regardless of my strength. But once summoned, the blade's ravenous appetite could not be contained. It devoured the souls of its victims. And if I allowed it to become over-aroused, the Reaver would now turn its hunger on me. Yeah, so you can't walk around with a blade. That's it, double circle. And while it's on, see it, it's taking my life. Right, anyway. I want to save this game. Um, quit. Well, that should save anyway. Well, anyway, thank you very much for watching, people. Love, lots of love. Big kisses. Tally ho. See you tomorrow for part two. the first part of Soul Reaver 2. That game first came out in 2001, but that's Soul Reaver 2. Soul Reaver 1, and then you've got Soul... You've got lots of games from the Legacy of Cain. That's what you've got to look for if you're interested in buying that game, is just go Legacy of Cain, and it should come up with a whole lot. There's shitloads of games for it. Um, but anyway, thank you very much for watching. Peace out. Peace bumps. Peace.